Hey, this is Joseph from Healthy Marriage. Today I want to talk to you about attitudes when we have serious conversations. You know, every marriage comes to a point and they have to have heart to hearts. They have to have some serious conversations, whether it's about uh, money problems, whether it's about uh, raising kids, uh, work issues, intimacy issues. At some point, we have to have conversations that sometimes can be a little uncomfortable. One of the things that I encourage couples to do is make sure when you go into a conversation like that, that you begin with the right attitude. Because I, I believe attitude sets the stage. In fact, before you discuss any serious issue with your spouse, make sure that you're sending the right messages. See, we communicate not just through our words, but we communicate through body language and facial expressions. So we need to make sure we approach, because those things are so subconscious, we approach the conversation knowing that we have the right attitude because I want to tell you something, no matter what your words say, your attitude is going to be heard more clearly than the words you're saying. So let's let's look at how do we do that. Here are four things that are kind of a checklist. Number one is respect. Um, somebody told me years ago when I was a youth minister that uh, they said, you know, you can say anything you need to someone if they know that you love them. And, and I've found that to be true. That doesn't give us a license to just bowl over people and then tag it with, but you know, I'm telling you this because I love you. That's ridiculous. Uh, and it doesn't work that way. Uh, but if someone genuinely knows that you love them, they will hear you, even if it's hard to be heard. And that's because there is respect. And so uh, all good communication begins with respect. In fact, we've got an article uh, titled something like that. You know, com communication begins with respect. And uh, we, we outline how to go about that, how to build respect, because that's one of the pillars in our pyramid of a healthy marriage is trust and respect and common values, and on up the line, we start talking about intimacy and communication. But listen, if there's no trust, shared values, respect, and honor, then none of that other stuff is gonna to come together anyway. So, so respect is important. Now, another factor is kindness. Um, you know, kindness is so underrated. Um, we, we see people who bulldoze their way through life and hurt people and wound people to get what they want. And in the end, I, I think that's so counterproductive. Um, it never hurts just to be kind. And this means in a conversation with your spouse, don't name call, don't use terms like, you know, you never, you always. I, I find myself doing that to myself. And I stop myself and I go, well, that, that's not true. And so even as I c converse with that little committee in my head, I have to call myself into check because those terms aren't accurate in the first place and they only take you away from the real issue. So kindness um, means that we are thinking with empathy and putting ourselves in our spouse's shoes. And I, th I think that's important. Um, uh, another factor is to remember the goal. What, what is it? Why are you talking about this? Why are we having this conversation? Um, and we've talked about that in other videos. We've talked about that in articles that we've written, but knowing the goal of what is it you want to accomplish in this conversation? What's the end goal is important. And it helps us keep our attitude from devolving into uh, rabbit trails, you know, you begin to talk about money issues and you wind up talking about your sex life uh, because you're not staying focused on the goal. Let's, let's deal with this issue and then we can talk about other issues. So remember the goal. And the final one is this, seek agreement. When I tell couples this, a lot of times I hear one of them or I'll see the expression on their face is, that's what I've been saying. They just, just need to agree with me. That is not at all what I'm talking about. Seeking agreement means finding the common ground between you and uh, because, you, you know, you're not 100% right and your spouse is not 100% wrong. So we need to seek the agreement to go, what is it we really want to see in our marriage? That's why having marriage goals are so important. 
and knowing the purpose for your marriage and the meaning behind it is so vital to a healthy marriage. So, so always act in that perspective to let's seek agreement so that we can accomplish the goals that we have. And listen, I believe if you keep those four checkpoints in line, respect, kindness, uh, you know, um, know the goal and seeking agreement, when you have tough conversations and you have to discuss things that are a little uncomfortable, your facial expressions, your body language, and even your words are going to be congruent and they're going to come into alignment to say, look, look, I value our relationship so much that I want to talk about this and we need to find solutions for these issues. So I hope that helps you have deeper conversations, better communication, and really connect with your spouse so that you can have a healthy marriage. Thank you.